Welcome back to another video guys. I'm going to be talking about the latest Acash network news. I'll be going over the chart and the price and what I think we could be expecting to happen. Now the big news I want to speak about guys is regarding the Nvidia H100s. Now these GPUs are in record high demand and they cost around forty to fifty thousand dollars each. So if we look at what they are saying here guys, Nvidia would prefer not to give large allocations to companies they're attempting to compete directly with them. So like AWS, Google, Azure Project, etc. Now if you guys remember what I said in the video weeks ago about Acash being 80 to 90% cheaper compared to these traditional cloud service providers. Guys, this is why Acash is a sleeping giant and it's why a lot of demand is going to be coming into Acash. So when we look at the recent news and what's happening with these NVIDIA processors and we look at the chart, it's pretty clear that there is a massive move up coming guys because look at the bullish divergence here building at the higher low and if you guys remember weeks ago, we spoke about this triple bull divergence building, right? It wasn't really a massive move up and it could not sustain itself, but because Bitcoin pulled back. But if you look at the ribbon on the daily, we are almost, well, I mean, we have basically got above it. And last time this happened, guys, well, historically when this happens, Acash goes on a decent move to the upside. Now, this was a bit of a fake out you could say, but like I said, guys, this was the top of the market back in 2021 and leading into 2022. It, it was the top of the bear market, basically. But like I said, a new year started, 2023, January. And when you compare where we are right now to back here, guys, you, you have to see the trend here is your friend. And these higher lows constantly happening, it's obvious that Acash is getting ready for an explosive move up. So taking off all the technicals here, in my opinion, this is getting ready to test that 70 cent zone and then it could be a really big breakout. And the reason why is, like I said, guys, because of the record high demand for these NVIDIAs and the cheaper price people will be looking to pay to get access to these NVIDIA GPUs. Now, if you want to get Acash, I have been using the Osmosis DEX. Now, you can get it from centralized exchanges, but I know some issues have been going on with centralized exchanges and so on and so forth. So basically, guys, you would deposit Atom into the Osmosis DEX from your Kepler wallet. Then you would swap the Atom into Acash. And then basically you would withdraw the Acash to your Kepler wallet on the assets page, right? Withdraw. And then to stake it, you would head over into your Cap your Kepler dashboard wallet and you would pick your validators. Now there's a couple of things I want to mention about staking that I think are quite important when it comes to picking your validator. The number one thing you should remember is the top 10, even the top 20, are most likely going to make you be excluded from airdrops if you're holding a cash and there is an airdrop. So I always recommend stake with people outside the top 20 because you want to be supporting the smaller decentralized validators. And always do your research, guys, onto their website and who you're staking with. You, you have to be aware that there is risks when staking and if that validator misses a block or something happens, it's possible you do lose a small percent of that staked amount. Now, I personally have these validators that I have been staking with for a while and I have had no problems, but always do your own research. The second thing is the commission. For me, the sweet spot is around the 3%, 5%. When you see the 10% and above, it's not worth it because your rewards are just not going to be as sufficient as you would get if you were staking with a 5% or 3% validator. But that's just my opinion. Like I said, keep an eye out for people that have 0% or 1% because usually it's a kind of a bait and they will pump it up when they get a lot of people 
staking to their validator. But like I said, guys, there's, there's a lot to go through when it comes to that. So do your own research on validators and staking. As for the Acash price overall, like I said, the market cap is still very small at 127 million. The fully diluted is at 229 million. This is great, guys. It, it tells you that the market cap is still small and there's still a lot of growth left for this market. The circulating supply being at 216 million coins and the max supply at 388 million. Once again, this is great tokenomics when we compare it to other competitors that are trying to be a cash and trying to do what a cash is doing a cash is way ahead of the game guys and now to the dream right what everyone wants to know where could a cash get to well me personally realistically i think if a cash could get to pepe that stupid frog market cap of 500 million one a cash would be worth two dollars and 28 cents so right now, 1,000 Acash is worth $593, and the potential worth of 1,000 Acash, if it got to Pepe's market cap, would be around $2,300. Now, I only am using Pepe as an example and a, something to compare it to because it's a piece of shit and it has no use case and no utility whatsoever. And I think Acash could get to Pepe's market cap because Acash does have a use case. It's a utility token, guys. You need the Acash token to use the Acash network. So that's it for me, guys. And that's why I think we are getting ready for an explosive move to the upside. That's it for me for this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Peace.